Today we're going to be making a stained glass Bengali. Today. So what you're going to need is a black sheet of paper. I'm going to use tissue paper. You can use, if you have it, it depends on what you have, um, a coffee filter. And you can use a coffee filter and color it with marker and then cut that into pieces to make your, your stained glass and scissors. So first what you guys are going to do is going to fold our paper hamburger style. So give it a nice chunk, fold it in half. So we have our paper looks like this. And parents, if you want to, do, to make your child more comfortable, you can go ahead and take a white crayon, white colored pencil, go ahead and make a nice round star shape. Or you can just let your child freelance it, freehand it, and just do their thing. So then you're going to cut it out and everything. Go in. So then when we're done, we'll have our nice circle shape for our Bengali. And then what I did was I just kept it folded, made some shapes. You can make them as big, as thin as you want. Typically the Bengalis are... Um, very symmetrical. They follow even lines, even dots, but we'll get more into that when we do our other Bengali. That one's a little more easier to make shapes and just have it how it traditionally is. This one's a little harder because it's scissors and paper. So I have my three um, shapes there and so then I opened up a bit I would get the scissors fold it slightly make another shape and cut that shape out so get our glue stick and we'd go around the edge of our shape get a nice piece of tissue paper or the coffee filter, push it against where the glue is. If your piece isn't big enough, you can just go ahead and put another piece on there, like so. So when you get, it should look like this on the side where you glued, so you can see my edges. And that's all right, because we will only be worrying about this side. And you can go ahead and hang this in your window, on your our next craft is going to be a paper lantern. So what you're going to need for this one is scissors, some color pencils, our glue, and of course, paper. So this one's really simple. All you need to do in the beginning is cut off a small strip. It could be large as well, as depending on how big you want your handle, because this will be our handle. Um, and then we're going to fold the paper hot dog style. Nice and long. We're going to give it a nice crease. And we're going to get our scissors and we're going to make slits like this. Just slits, so we're not going to go all the way through. We're not going to cut strips, just slits. So you go and you make them as thick as you want, as thin as you want. It's your lantern. You do what you want to do. Um, just, so when our, all of our slits are cut, and unfold it. Um, at this point, you would lay it on the table, table, desk, wherever you're working. Um, unfold it, lay it flat, and give it designs. So what I saw typically in the lanterns were swirls, um, uh, loops, um, there was a lot of stars, because like I said, they, um, they typically did this when there was no moon, so they could see all the stars, and I tried to incorporate some of the, the dots from the Rangali into it, so I did a few of those, and you can do those however you want on the slits, be careful not to rip them. So, then we would get our glue. Get our glue. 
put a bit on the back side on one part of the paper, just like this. And now to make sure there is that it sticks, but not too much that it's going out the sides. So then we press together along, make sure it sticks, and then we can stand it up, press it down a bit to give it that nice lantern look. Um, then we would get our handle, our piece of paper for our handle. Um, put some glue on the ends there. And go ahead and pinch to our lantern. And we have our craft. When it's all done and decorated, you can decorate any way you want it like this.